Hi, YouTubers, I'm going to the video today, so I'm going to a new video right now, doing another cigar review, another big-ass cigar review, so as in a big-ass cigar for life. <clears throat> now, this is going to be the A. Flores Gran Reserva Corojo Granda Toro, so 6x54, so very nice, big-ass cigar. So, medium body and pipes and cigars.com, nice, big-ass cigar, so first third is bite, pepper, tobacco, smooth, so, very nice um, bite, tobacco, smooth, very smooth flavors, so a nice big-ass cigar. Uh, second, third, same flavors, pretty plain overall, very plain cigar, very straightforward. Uh, last, third, same flavors, overall strength, medium, so very nice big-ass cigar. Um, Retro Heli notes, pepper, nice uh, pepper sensation through the nose, uh, very nice. So... Aroma, nice smell, typical cigar smell, so, uh, what was I was going to say, um, the burn was pretty good, kind of a little bit wonky, but I'm attributing that more to the wind, because it was very windy outside, even though it was in the garage, smoking a nice big-ass cigar, um, burn was pretty decent, not too, um, not too, um, you know, uh, not too wonky, but the point I'm trying to make is the burn was not perfect. Now, most people, including me, want to have a very nice, straightforward burn, because really, honestly, it's no fun um, if a cigar that doesn't burn right, because it's very wonky, very, you know, kind of like uh, wonky, that kind of stuff, so, um, very nice, uh, big-ass cigar, so, it lasts for just over an hour, so decent, um, burn time, so, yeah, yeah, very decent burn time on this cigar, so, just over an hour, that's average for most cigars, <clears throat> nice, big-ass cigar, so, just over one hour, that's pretty cool. Uh, price point is $14, so I think I got this for $14.50 on pipesandcigars.com. Actually, $14.10, I remember now, $14.10. So, uh, depending where you live here, Massachusetts, um, probably like $16, $17, $18. Down in Pennsylvania and Florida, it's tobacco paradise where you're paying nothing for these. You know, you have a walk-in humidor, you have all this kind of cool stuff, which we don't have here in, in Massachusetts. Um, here in Massachusetts, um, Massachusetts, just being silly, cigar gang, big ass cigar for life. Um, yeah, so decent uh, burn time, and also price point is pretty expensive. So if you're looking for a cheap ass cigar, the big ass cigar, not a very good cigar. So um, yeah, fourteen dollars um, here in Massachusetts. Um, down in Pennsylvania and Florida, you're paying nothing for these. You know, you're paying. Uh, fourteen dollars here in Massachusetts. You're probably paying twenty for these. So these were paying on our ass, like the big ass cigar. So seven ten for rating. Not my, not really my cup of tea. A little bit, a little bit um, plain, mild tobacco. Um, a little bit too plain for me. So not bad. I actually do like the cigar. That's why I gave it a seven ten for rating. Not perfect. Not, not in my book. I mean, my perfect cigar would have to be like a Padron nineteen sixty four. But around like 1964, you know, really nice big ass cigar, but not something I would pick up. You know, be a little bit too expensive and a little bit not really worth it for the price. So for a 15, 16, 17 dollar cigar, like 20 dollar cigar, I mean, you gotta be like, you know, paying a good amount for this. I'd rather buy a Padron, like a Padron 1964. It's like, you know, at a certain point, you know what? I have to, you know, say it's not bad, but not worth paying like eighteen, twenty dollars. Anyway, comment, like, share, subscribe, and keep smoking those nice big ass cigars for life. A Flores Grand Reserva Corojo Grande Toro six by fifty four, uh, medium bodied, fourteen dollars, seven ten for rating. Big ass cigar for life. Bye. Big ass cigar for life.